Okay, so this is the Leica um, knitting bag case um, that we're going to be talking about. So mine is in denim, and this is the design they went for for 2019. And I love it. I think it's really cool. When I saw the needles, I thought, I need these needles. They're just so cool. So we're going to kind of open it up, and it has a little metal flaps here. You also see a zipper. Um, it already comes with knitting needle on um, knitting needles and your cables and a few other accessories because this is my um knitting pouch that I use for almost all of my projects and I um I've had this for many years I don't have every accessory in here but I can talk to you in depth about everything that does come in here and I can pull things out of my knitting bag that I actively keep um my notions bag so that you can see what comes in it so this first pouch I will show you some of the cables that I keep in here so I keep my longer cables in here um, and some of these are like 60 60 inches long and I mean they're wonderful I love um, these cables they're not like you may or may not have heard but there's a brand called Chiagu and um their cables are red and they have like a a metal piece that's kind of like intertwined inside their um inside the cable and it's nice um however it can get bent out of shape very easily these I have not had a problem with um with these, I've never had to boil them or anything like that. They're soft and they're really nice to work with. And they're very simple. However, if you are new to knitting in general, they might seem a little scary to you, which is fine. Um, it's something you're going to get used to. But most knitting cables are about this thin. And they work with a range of different projects. So that's why I like them a lot. Um, also, I've had where, you know, you buy some knitting cables for those of you who have bought knitting cables before. And... You know, you might have where a piece might be broken off or anything um, could possibly, you know, happen in shipping or anything like that. And I am happy to say that the company that makes Leica Luca needles, um, they are wonderful. And if you contact them and let them know you have an issue with a cable, they will happily help you get another cable. Um, I have, you know, messaged them before about a cable breaking and um and though that hasn't happened in a couple years actually but um i think i just got into like a wrong batch but i had a few cables that broke and every time um i even they uh, gave me a sales rep and i just sent her an email and said hey my cable broke and i told her what size it was and she was more than happy and able to send me new cables which i thought was super awesome um sometimes she would send me more than one uh, cable which was super amazing because it's like I have more cables now and I can keep knitting and I don't have to worry about needing extra cables so none to the main thing is these lovely needles here so the needles that we have are size US 4 through US 17 and so that's what our biggest size to our smallest size so the US 17 is about 12 millimeters and then our US 4 which is on the smaller scale, very thin, um, it is a 3.5. So I don't know if you can see that there. Um, so they're inscribed on the bottom. They're really nice. I enjoy these so much. Um, the tips are not super sharp at all, but they are not bad. Um, and the reason why you would want something like this is if you're using a yarn that might split a lot. Um, a lot of people, especially as you knit, you'll learn that there are people that really like sharp needles, like super sharp points. And there are some people that end up hurting themselves with super sharp needles. I recommend um, getting these for your first go. These are the 5 inch, so I should have started off by saying that this is the 5 inch set. Leica's come in a 3.5 and a 5 inch set. I got the 5 point set because, the 5 inch set, sorry, um, because there was talk that this is considered the um, sweater set. So I decided for my first knitting project with knitting needles after I bought my set was going to be a sweater. 
and since then that was uh, about two or three years ago I've probably made about 20 sweaters and I love them so much um but I wanted something that was going to be simple but also my family was traveling at the time and I'm just putting the needles back in their spot um but my family was traveling we we're going on a cruise and I was worried about being stopped by TSA so I got these needles and I thought they were really really cool but also um and that's another thing too and I'll talk about that in another video I'll go into more detail about that but yeah that's a thing like you go into a government office and sometimes they'll tell you you can't have certain things that you keep in your knitting bag like your scissors or you know sometimes your metal needles might come up as a potential weapon um it doesn't happen as much and usually you can tell TSA no no these are knitting needles. I have a project currently working on them and they will allow you to go through or whatever um, with your knitting needles. But sometimes they do confiscate people's knitting needles. So a lot of people will opt for bamboo or wooden just for trips and stuff. So that's also something to think about as well. Um, I haven't had any instances where I've gotten in trouble or stopped or questioned about my knitting needles. I think because a lot of the times the x-ray shows up that they are knitting needles. Um, but this case definitely does help with it. Um, it's very nice and sturdy and like you can see everything has its place. Um, now you don't necessarily have to keep them in order but because of the size of the needles they correspond with the elastic that keeps them in place. So if you you know try to put the 17 in here it's not going to work very well. They do stretch but not that much enough to let your needles run loose and free. So um it's nice for keeping them organized and they're really great for if you are someone that is not sure you know what project you're working with or what size needles even I don't think these will rub off the actual like um coloring that tells you what sizes I don't think they will but just in case they do you can mark these to let you know but by the time you start knitting a lot more, you're going to know what size needles you have. So on to showing you how to use the interchangeable needles. So I have a, um, this is a 16 inch cable, which will turn my five inches into a 24 inch cable altogether. Um, that's too big to make a hat with. But there are some um, patterns that do require you to use 32 or 24 inch. Um, and you can make a hat with 24 um, inch cables. I've done it before. So one of the things it comes with, and you'll get new of these, every new ones, every time you um, get new cables, is you will get a key. And the key looks like this. It's... It's this little thing here, but your um, your Leica set will also come with this little card that will show you how to use the key. So you have your needle and you have your cable. You are going to put together, you don't have to. Okay, here's the better way to do it. See, there's a little hole there. There's also a little hole on this, this is too small to use, so you don't use that one. You're gonna use the bigger hole that actually fits the key. You're gonna put that in there. You don't have to put it all the way in, you just put it on there as much as you possibly need to. And then you're just gonna twist. And you're gonna twist and use your key to push in the opposite direction so that you can tighten here. And you should not be able to unscrew this on your own. No matter how hard you try, unscrewing should not happen. Um, that's another thing with different needles. So there are things like the Addy Clicks that don't use a key at all. Um, it relies on you pushing the cable in and locking it in place. And, you know... That's one way to do it, and the only way to get your needle to pop off is if you push in and untwist it out. These use a key, like most other knitting needles use a key. Um, and the good thing about interchangeable things is if you're starting a pattern, and this is why people use interchangeable, especially for sweaters and especially for a lot of knitting projects, you will start a pattern using the smallest needle that the pattern requires. And then by the time you get to the body, 
So you're doing the ribbing. Usually knitting starts with a ribbing part. You do that with the smallest needle to get a tighter gauge. Um, and then when you are ready to change to a different part in your pattern, what you do is you would simply go up a needle size, but you can keep everything on the cable. So you don't have to change an entire knitting needle just because the size of needle changes to fit the pattern that you need to create your project. So that's the really cool thing. That is one of the main um, reasons why people go with interchangeable needles versus fixed needles. Fixed, needle, fixed needles are needles that are already attached to the cable and there's no way of removing them. Same thing with straight needles. Um, anything you can do with straight needles, you can do with circular knitting needles. Circular knitting needles are so that you can make many different projects without ever having to worry about if your project is going to slide or loose. And yes, there are stoppers and all kinds of things that you can buy um, that will prevent your projects from slipping off of your needles. But for a lot of people that want to work on a project they want to be able to have their needles ready and usable whenever possible so what do i mean by that well that's a fun thing so i'm gonna give you a little sneak preview of my notion bag um it's a pencil case by the brand kipling now you don't have to go out and get ones i just happen to have this particular um this particular bag for my um For my knitting bag and I will do another video to explain what's in my notions bag so one of the things you're gonna get in here is you're gonna get stoppers now right now I only have one available um, but you have these these come with every cable you get with your Leicas and it comes with every um, knitting bag as well here a needle bag so I'm gonna show you how the cables work and how the stoppers work as well. So if you haven't seen one of these before, these go on the cables. So like I said before, you might, I'm gonna take the key out so that you can see this. Um, the yarn I'm using is by Encore, it is a Plymouth yarn. Um, it's a 70% um, 70, 70 um, 70 to 75% acrylic and 20% wool. It's great for working on kid things or things that you want to make that will go straight in the wash. And I'm using a lighter color so you're able to see very clearly what I'm doing since my needles are a darker color. So I've got a ball of yarn. And what I'm doing is I'm going to cast on really quickly. And I will do some more videos to show you how to cast on. Um, right now I'm doing the long tail cast on. And so what I'm doing is I'm showing you how I am gonna use the stoppers. So you might say you're going too fast, but I promise you when I do a video on how to cast on, I will not be going nearly as fast. So let's say you start this project. You're starting your, um, your knitting, and let's say that you, know, you, you start it, you cast on, and you decided that, okay, cool, I've already cast on this one project, but I'm tired and I wanna start something else because I wanna do something else fun, but I need to use these same needles for the project that I'm working on. So how do you do that? Well, let's pretend I have two of these. <laughs> I promise I'll find my other one. It's probably on another project somewhere <laughs> um, because sometimes you will use them for, um, I think I was doing Tunisian crochet with one of my other sets that I can use these with. And <laughs> I think I just took the other one and put it on the um, Tunisian crochet to kind of be a stopper on the end of that one. But like I was saying, so you would just slide your project onto your cable and you will unscrew your needles to free your needles. And then you would put this. Now you don't need the key for this, but sometimes you can use the key if you want to. So. You just screw that on and that way your your needles are free to go to another project 
and you've got your project on these needles. So now your project's good to go and it's not going anywhere. As long as you have stoppers on there, your project's not going to be able to come off of the cable. So you'll be able to go back to it and there are little ridges. So just got to be careful, but yeah, you're not going to have to worry about that project. You can do whatever you want and your needles are free to go on another cable to work on something else. So that's the really cool thing about interchangeable knitting needles. I hope this helps you a bit with understanding what knitting, what interchangeable knitting needles do and what it is that the set might do for you. Um, I haven't shown how to knit with them, but I will in other videos. And I will be trying to make sure that you guys understand um, the importance of having a good knitting needle set. A lot of people start off knitting and they don't have a set. They just have, you know, knitting needles and um, a few pieces of yarn and they just kind of go with it. And that's perfectly fine. You're welcome to do whatever you want with your own craft and to learn on your own way. But when you really want to start knitting and you really want to start creating, getting an interchangeable set is one of the cornerstones of knitting and making it a fun hobby and just a fun thing for you. Um, a lot of people feel like it's a spiritual and just connective experience to have your knitting stuff and have what you like. So I'm going to show you the pocket because I don't think I showed you that all the way. I keep a little information in here like this and then I also have one of the little papers from when I bought in cables um, from Leica and they has the Leica um, guarantee and yeah they will um, send you a new replacement you know with any defects and stuff now I will say this um, I've even had my cat attack my needles and attack my cable and eat my cable before and I messaged them and I was like hey I don't know what to do my cat ate my cable on my local yarn shop they don't have any more of this is there any way that I can get another one and they were more than happy to send me a new pair and I don't know if that's part of their policy or what, but I, I feel like that was a really nice thing that they did. And you'll find that the knitting community is so welcoming and so lovely, so long as you find your, um, your people. So just keep crafting, and I hope to see you in the next video. I'll show you the, the back of this, so we've got it closed now with that metal closure. And now I'm going to, sorry. I hit the camera. Um, so this is the back of it and it's just really nice, really smooth. And I, I've really enjoyed having this knitting needle set. Um, I find it to be one of the ones I use the most. And it's definitely great when I find a project where I need my five inch needles for. Um, and so you have a choice. You can get like us and you can get it in the 3.5 um, needles, which are tiny. They're about that big. <laughs> And then you can get the five inches where they're five inches. They're a bit longer, um, but it depends on the projects you need and the projects you want to work with. So just keep that in mind when you're um, making your choice about what kind of knitting and what kind of stuff you want to make. Um, so thank you for watching my video. Please hit the subscribe button and please like this video. Um, if you have any questions or um, concerns, please let me know. I will be happy to help you with getting your uh, knitting career started and really um, having a great time with our craft. So welcome to the knitting community and um, I hope you enjoy your needles. If you were buying a pieing these needles and you just wanted some little affirmation, well, I'm happy to give that to you. These needles are wonderful. Thank you so much. Have a good day.